Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobo the Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Zombie Cure Lab, which is a factory building game uh, where you have to try and save the zombies. I know, it's kind of an unbelievably backwards concept, but it's very, very cool. Anyway, uh, the premise is, is that there is, a, there, is a, there is a whole bunch of zombies or a whole bunch of people that are becoming zombies, uh, and it's kind of awful. Uh, nothing can be done about it, with the exception of... Uh, a plucky bunch of scientists up in northern Canada uh, and it is our job to try and uh, to try and cure the zombies in northern Canada and hopefully save the world anyway uh, as ever I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening and uh, hopefully we can have a little bit of fun along the way this game does not take itself very seriously which is which is good uh, I like that it's uh, it's very it's very very cool it's a lovely little game anyway uh, let's jump into a normal expedition here uh, there's a couple of things to note with regards to uh, resources in the world. These are the resources that we're going to start with, uh, which is fine. Uh, we will start a new lab, and then we will immediately get cracking. Uh, the game is in early access at the moment. There's, uh, I love this, actually, for a loading screen, uh, seeing all of the, the early access content, uh, or, you know, seeing early, all the, uh, the post-early access and then the road to early access content, stuff that has been implemented. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, so, yeah, this game is a factory builder. You have to cure the zombies. We're going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to try and set up our base, and then hopefully we're going to be able to, to, to build it um, pretty pretty darn large. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, let's jump into things. Okay, so uh, this is the map that we're going to be playing in. Uh, I can't really get a good... Uh, get a super good angle, but we can sort of talk about some of the features. It's quite a large map. Um, you'll see these, I guess, tunnels um, in strategic locations around the map. Uh, three over there, and then I believe, yeah, there's not a third one over there. So uh, there's just three on this map. That's fine. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of, I guess, features, geographical features dotted around the map. Uh, I think we should probably go for somewhere in the middle, but we're not going to go for somewhere that is so in the middle that it is... Uh, that it is remote. Uh, what we're placing right now is we're placing the... Uh, we're placing the... Let's go... Sure, let's go about there. Uh, we're placing the central the central building in our base, and now we are going to place our helicopter landing pad, which is pretty darned important. We have an objective up in the top left-hand corner uh, to finish our level one Humby treatment. Now, a Humby, very technical term here, is, uh, is, a, is, is a zombie that is becoming a human. And there are three different stages of uh, of Humby. These are our scientists. We've got 15 of them, uh, which is very, very cool indeed. And we're going to begin the process of, uh, of getting all of our base infrastructure set up very, very shortly. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about the mechanics as we go. So uh, what do we got on the screen uh, right at this moment in time? Well, it looks very complicated and it's not. Um, we've got our food over here and then we've got all of our different resources and then we've got our, our electricity here. Uh, this main storage building, this one right, right here, uh, it actually produces produces just a trickle of power, uh, which is which is kind of nice. It also has some batteries in. Uh, it can store up to 3,500 units of power, which is actually really, really nice. It means that we don't have to worry about getting power started immediately. Um, as I said, um, there's a whole bunch of resources that are already around the map. So, for example, car wrecks provide, uh, you know, metal and electronics and ice packs, and that's kind of critical. We'll get to that. There's obviously trees. Uh, we've got some glowberry bushes which are used for uh, research, that's quite useful. But there's also, you know, like ruined cabins, which provide extra resources and ore deposits, which provide uh, ore for smelting, etc. The zombies will come out of these tunnels. We need to be very, very, very aware of that. That is something that we need to be super, super aware of. So uh, what do we need to do in the, uh, in, the, in the beginning? Well, we need to set up resource uh, collection and any refining that we need to do. Then, uh, we will probably need to progress to setting up our level 1 Humby treatment, which, uh, which we will also do. Then we'll maybe have to get some power, and then we'll maybe think about setting up some of the, uh, some of the end game more advanced concepts. Anyway, um, we won't see that helicopter for a little while, and we probably won't have much to do with these landing zone... Uh, with this landing zone area for at least a little while. Anyway, uh, let's jump into the build menu and see what we've got. We've got a whole bunch of different categories that we can build from here. 
Um, we can build in the defense category, we can build the fence, the gate, and then the snowball shooter. Uh, there's kind of like turrets and stuff, uh, which will be used to not take out zombies, because we don't actually want to destroy the zombies. We want to, we want to immobilize them, and in this case, we want to freeze them with the snowball launcher, and then we can take them inside and treat them in a safe uh, environment. And uh, we got some production buildings, which we're going to be building immediately. We've got the resource camp here, uh, which means that we can, you know, chop trees, mine rocks, gather plants, and scavenge from the remains of civilization. Uh, let's immediately get that down over here. I would, I would say. We'll do that. That's brilliant. What else have we got? We got a hauling post, uh, which allows workers to transport resources quite quickly. We'll build that uh, just to the back of the main storage area uh, so that we can, you know, take take everything take everything in here. That's fine. Uh, Power-wise, we've got power poles, which can extend the, uh, the power grid at the moment. That's fine. We've got general uh, rooms, which we'll talk about in a second. And then we've got these rooms, uh, or these, I guess, categories, which are all specific rooms. So the kitchen, uh, the science room, the bedroom, the skill training room, and decorations. Now, uh, we will need to build all of these, but we need to get, we need to get all of our resources, uh, set up first. Uh, are we going to see any zombies over the course of this evening? No. So, um, if we have a little look on the, uh, on the timeline, we can see uh, a list of upcoming events. Uh, there's a helicopter uh, that is going to arrive at the headquarters at, uh, well, just about two hours or so. Uh, that's the time at the moment. And we can see what time the helicopter's arriving. You know, oh, uh, you know 9, 9.27, that's cool. Uh, we've got no upcoming zombies coming, which is going to give us a few days um, just to get bedded in, and so to speak. That'll be, that'll be totally fine. Um, and we will we will enjoy doing that. Uh, right, so what do we need to do? Well, yeah, so we've got the resource camp, we've got the hauling post, we've got people assigned here, which is great. We can assign one more if we want to. Uh, resource camp, we can also assign up to two more people, uh, up to five people if we wanted to here. Uh, I don't think we particularly want to do that. Not yet, anyway. We're just working away on the stuff like the car wreck and, you know, some some trees. Um, I'm content to sort of let this happen for a little bit, but um, but we'll do something uh, in just a second to, to transform this. And I suspect that that is probably going to be uh, implementing a kitchen. We'll start with, hopefully, quite a modular uh, design. We'll maybe do... A kitchen up there. Yeah, it's going to cost 220 wood. So you can immediately start to see that it's going to take quite a lot of resources to get to get this all up and running. Let's go for something like that. Sure. We get a dining table, uh, which is a place for all of our workers to eat. Uh, there's a meat cultivator and also a feeding pile. This is for humbies, that is zombies that are turning back into humans. But we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Right, so that helicopter has arrived back at the base. I should have mentioned, by the way, that the world map is is uh, is is very very active uh, in this game. So we've got this moose lab. Um, this is the lab that I was referring to. This is the lab that the scientists work at. Uh, we will be able to trade. We'll be able to trade with this. We can order some wood if we want to. Uh, we can trade. Uh, we can trade humbies. Again, that is, that is zombies that are becoming humans. We can trade them back uh, to the lab for uh, for some bonuses, which again we'll talk about in a little bit. But it's not particularly it's not particularly relevant at the moment. Uh, what we really need to do is worry about our wood situation. I want to get a science room down as well. Uh, let's maybe do something like that. Yeah, I want to keep my options kind of open with regards to uh, tell you what subtract rooms. Let's maybe. Yeah, get rid of that section. I want to keep my options open about where I'm building these these uh, these rooms. Now, at the moment, they're not sort of connected into a larger superstructure, uh, but that's not to say that we don't want to expand our, our walls at any point. Like, we absolutely will want to expand our walls. It's just that I don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, but that being said, uh, we need to get doors. I'll get a door over there. And in the science room, uh, we're going to get some research desks. Science rooms are primarily... We'll get three research desks, that's fine. Uh, science rooms, and we'll go into three times speed as well. We'll probably play through the entirety of the game in three times speed. There's no reason to There's no reason to slow it down at all, in my humble opinion. My humby opinion. <laughs> Just me. Uh, tough crowd. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. So we've got the kitchen, we've got the science room, we'll get a bedroom now, and you know what, we'll just continue building them. 
building them over here. We'll get a 10 by 10 bedroom. Yep, right about there. That's fine. That's a little bit of a funky sort of corner. Uh, yeah, that doesn't want to connect, but that's, that's fine too. Go there. Uh, we'll get some beds, and then we'll get, what, a couch. Yeah, so beds are going to allow our workers to uh, rest and recover a little bit. There we go. And I think we'll go with five, and we'll get a couch, like, here. Obviously, room for expansion in everything that we do. That's kind of the plan. Uh, I've got plenty of workers that are currently available, so let's assign a few more to the uh, resource camp. And we shall dig up some more trees. I will also... Uh, skill training room. Yeah, we'll build that in just a second. Decorations, we will build that. In fact, we won't build any decorations, because why would we? Uh, no, defenses. What we're going to do is we're going to build a gate. Now, um, the reason that we're seeing a whole bunch of uh, notifiers above all of these... All of these trees here is primarily because my workers can't escape. Uh, they cannot escape the confines of this little box here. And in fact, that gives me the opportunity to demonstrate uh, the safe and unsafe areas. So, uh, as you can see, red areas, uh, if we have any workers, if we have any workers in the red areas when the, the zombies are turned loose, then we will lose them. If they are in the yellow areas, then they are protected and they are safe. So, when the time comes, we need to make sure that we uh, that we get them that we get them into the yellow areas. Anyway, how is this looking? The science science desks are looking fantastic, which is great. Yeah, that's looking really good. So, I haven't touched on research yet. But there's no reason not to. So there's a whole bunch of different categories that we are going to be able to, to research uh, tech from. Uh, the, the blue stuff is stuff that we've already got. Uh, yellow stuff is stuff that we can research, but we need, uh, we need research points in order to do so. Uh, so for example, a snow cannon freezes all zombies in an area of attack useful for slowing down groups of zombies. In order to research it, we need 65 research points. In order to get research points, we need to use the research desk. Uh, the research desks uh, literally input glowberries um, use 0 0.7 an hour and give us five research points an hour. It's just that simple. It really is that simple. Um, so that's pretty good. Right, our construction is going very, very well. Uh, we've obviously got this gate finished as well, which is fantastic. Uh, we shall now start the process of getting our Humby treatment down, which I think is which I think is quite exciting. Uh, we also want to bear in mind, do we want to maybe... Do we want to maybe divert some resources from, yeah, from the resource camp over to, yeah, the research desk? That's just automatically reassigned, which is perfect. I will, I will build the treatment chamber, which is the, which is the process that we are going to use to turn our zombies into, into nice people. Uh, we need a few more resources in order to build that. I mean, literally one more bit of wood. That's why I'm kind of okay with the pace that we're, we're going to go at. Um, workers, by the way, are now going to start to operate uh, out with the, the resource camp. Certainly, or out with the, the, the specific fenced off area that I have here. They're not going to go out with the, the sort of range. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Uh, but it does mean that I think that some of them are going to start working around uh, around outside, which is, which is great. That's what we like to see. Okay, so we need to get power set up over here, which we will do. Uh, we will do right about now. There we go. That's all connected together. And we'll maybe think about our defenses as well. So, I believe... I believe that we should... Uh, if I build a snowball shooter right about here... Uh, or maybe right about here. There is perfect. We'll build a snowball shooter there. You can see the um, you see the range. The zombies will start to target the gate, which is why I'm building it over here. Very, very critical. Uh, and production, what did I say we needed? We needed the... Uh, oh, yeah, we needed, uh, we needed some way to manufacture ice packs, which we don't have at this moment in time. But we will. We will get that. Don't worry. One there. Oh, excuse me. One there. And... One there. That's cool. Just 25 wood in order to build the power pole, so nothing too complicated there. We don't have anybody working here. That's okay. That's okay. We don't have enough workers. Uh, that's, that's fine. We also don't have enough workers to use the treatment chamber. That is to be expected. That is exactly to be expected. 
What are these people doing? Not enough, apparently. Not enough. Uh, what? What did we need? What did we need to, to complete the uh, the Humby treatment? Oh, it may very well mean. It may very well mean that we need to get uh, what is it? Science. Yeah. So we need to send zombies back to the lab on the map, the Moose Lab, in order to generate. Uh, cure progress. We're not going to be able to do that until the zombies start coming, which should hopefully be soon, I hope. And then we can start making some real progress. But it also gives us a good opportunity to get some more, uh, some more... Oh, look at this. Next night, regular zombies, six. Six zombies. We can see that. It is officially, it's officially on the menu. Great stuff. Uh, okay, so we've got the ice packs. Uh, we've got 60 ice packs loaded in the snowball shooter. That is wonderful. Uh, also, we should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, how many how many research points do we have? We got 176 research points there. So can we get anything particularly interesting? A calming station. Mesmerizing power of your rotating discs slowly calms the angry, frozen humbies. Okay, that's worth noting. It's not super relevant right now. Same with the guard armory. A snow cannon? Uh, freeze all zombies in an area? I mean, maybe? Maybe? Needs? What about this? Bench press? A good way for Humbies to train their muscles? We might get that, but it's not super relevant right now. Glowberry planter? I think maybe a veggie planter and a glowberry planter wouldn't be bad. So let's pick up both of those. Let's also see what else we can get. Uh, a bellow breezer. This allows us to man manufacture ice packs, which we'll, you'll see very, very shortly. Uh, how, how useful that's going to be. Same with the furnace. Um, that's going to allow us to turn ore into metal. So that's a, a production a production thing too. Uh, we can get... We can maybe think about getting a tier 2 basic lab, but we need a whole bunch of wood in order to do that. And that's going to take a long time. We can get batteries. We can get a wheel generator. We can get wind turbines. Wind turbines would be decent, but again, we don't really need them. We don't really need to worry about that quite yet. I think picking up the calming station, the guard armory... And the snow cannon next will be the will be the obvious answers. I think that'll be the case. Okay, uh, but really waiting until this evening, waiting until this evening is is a is a real opportunity. And then we'll probably need to go. We'll probably need to think about you know rejigging some of our workers here, and we'll think about how how best we how best we do it. Yeah, uh, we also we also can specify, for example that the resource camp just works uh, during the day. So that's what we might say. We say, so we have these workers on the day shift, and that actually gives us three workers, should be four workers, available on the night shift, which is quite nice. So the snowball shooter, for example, only works on the night shift, uh, which is great. Now, the treatment chamber does need somebody to work all the time, so let's take one person off that. Hauling post. Let's actually take one person off the hauling post instead and put one person back into here. Yeah, because I'm content to have the... I'm content to have the treatment chamber working pretty much full time to get to get more... Uh, to get more people. Uh, to get more humbies. And they're useful, by the way. They're, they're going to be very, very useful. So, what else do we need to... What else do we need to do? We need to build two additional rooms. We need to build a skill training room. Uh, and we need to, oh, we don't need to build a second room, but we need to build a meat cultivator and also a feeding pot. Sure. These are both kitchen. These are both kitchen, uh, why can't I go in there? Oh, it's the door over there. I forgot about the, forgot about the door. Right. Put the meat cultivator in the corner and also a feeding pile. So, much like humans dine at the table, uh, the feeding pile is where the humbies will eat. And we will also get the skill training room. Sure, let's go for a 10 by 10. I feel like 10 by 10 is just a, a good way to go, you know? We're, we're overbuilding at the moment, but hopefully we're future-proofing. That's the, that's the real, the real aim. That'll be fine. Brilliant. And we are pretty much set for the night. Right, do we need somebody to operate the meat cultivator? Yeah, let's have somebody operating the meat cultivator at night only. So that's going to be a vegetable input. 
uh, globary input, and we'll get ourselves some meat. Uh, we probably have, yeah, we've got vegetables at the moment, but we're going to need to get... We're going to need to get a vegetable patch. We could probably build it outside, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Right. We'll build a veggie planter up here, and that will at least... That will at least keep us going for for a little while. Okay, everybody's doing a lot of good stuff. We got a lot of we got a lot of progress happening before our very eyes. Lots of research points as well, which is good. Okay, uh, we need to make sure to lock down the lab before the evening comes. Uh, the zombies will start to come. I think it's nine o'clock. It'll be it'll be soon. Right, skill training room is ready. It's not quite ready yet. We need to get ourselves a leg press or two. Uh, you'll see how useful these are uh, in due course. Three leg presses is maybe a little bit much. But you'll see how useful this is in uh, in due course. Right, can we get somebody to do... Yeah, we'll get somebody to do a night shift of vegetable, of vegetable planting and growing. I don't know. I don't know if it actually... If, uh, if plants grow in the night, but there you go. I mean, I know they grow at night, but they don't, you know, receive photosynthesizing rays or whatever. Anyway, okay, brace yourselves, let's go. It's time, it's time. Lab is officially in lockdown. Uh, so, that is going to mean that everybody in the red area, if there is anybody operating in the red area, is going to get back into the uh, yellow area here. Uh, and it locks the gates. Uh, we have got an operator. Uh, Stephanie Hel Helbenia uh, is on the snowball shooter, is ready to go. Um, interestingly, by the way, we can set the attack priority of this uh, of this snowball shooter so we can take the closest target, the strongest target, or the weakest target. But if we leave it on the weakest target, let's see, where are the zombies? Okay. They're attacking the gate. Good. Now there's zombies up here. Are they going to get distracted or are they going to going to go somewhere else? Anyway, as you can see, we are attacking one specific zombie, which is good. Uh, there looks like to be there's looks like there's a zombie over here, but you're not going to get stuck on that, are you? No, you're going to come around to the gate eventually. So yeah, two zombies basically came from each of the the tunnel entrances or the tunnel exits, I guess, and that's fine. Now, as soon as we have completely, I guess, destroyed one zombie, um, it will turn into a frozen ice cube, which that is, that is cursed. That is really cursed. That is so cursed. Anyway, um, we got a frozen, a frozen zombie, and what that means is that as long as the zombie doesn't unfreeze by the end of the, uh, well, by the end of the next working day, really, then the treatment chamber can go to work. And so, ideally... Uh, we slowly but surely build up the number of snowball shooters that we have. And we start, uh, we start utilizing the snowball shooters and we're able to, to slowly but surely bring more zombies into the, uh, into the compound at a very controlled and rational rate. We don't want to leave anybody outside, that's for sure. Uh, they're not doing much damage to the fences. Uh, at the moment, our zombie threat level is low. There's a whole bunch of variables that actually go into the, the zombie threat level, which you can sort of see uh, at a glance right here. Uh, but at the moment, it's very, very low, which is fine with me, which is absolutely fine with me. No issues with that at all. Brilliant. Our third zombie, are we going to get a fourth one? We might, if we're lucky, get a fourth zombie over the course of this evening, which would be great. I will say that these ice packs, we don't have a way to generate them at the moment, but we do need a way to generate them. Our electricity uh, is fine. Uh, we will, you know, slowly but surely, slowly but surely uh, use up the battery over the course of the evening. Ah. Can I turn you on today, please? Sorry. If I get... Uh, If I get, if I just get, if I just get the, there we go. Can I get somebody here? There we go. That, all right, because this, this zombie is trapped. We're still in lockdown, but if we get this zombie, if we get this zombie completely frozen, beautiful. We're not going to have to do that all the time, but that's pretty good. So get rid of that and equip only to the night. Beautiful. Okay. We have people that are free. Let's assign them back to... 
back to there. So we got one day night worker free and one night work worker free. All right, brilliant. So uh, we're starting to see the first of our uh, the first uh, bear the first fruits of our of our labor here. Uh, so our bit of ice, our zombie in ice, is going to be taken over to the treatment chamber. You cannot get to where you need to go. Why the heck not? Have I doofed something up here? Ah, do I need to move this? I do need to move this, don't I? You idiot potato. Oh, man. Uh, it's just ever so slightly. Yeah, can we do that now? Sorry, I realize the zombie is... Oh, did we delete the zombie inside there? We may have accidentally... Oh, maybe he's gone back outside? Okay, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, you'll see, these these zombies are slowly but surely thawing out, um, and if they do that, that's going to be a little bit of a pain in the backside, but I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll be the case. Anyway, it doesn't take very long to actually transform a zombie, we can do, you know, for an hour or whatever, uh, and what do you know? Uh, out comes, there we go, congratulations, you've treated your first zombie and made a level one Humby. So this isn't a perfect human, it is a, it is a human or a zombie that is on its way to becoming a human. Your journey to level two Humbies can now begin. Take good care of your level one Humbies or they might get angry. Provide them with meat and a training room. Uh, you'll need to get level two Humbies, tier two technology, cure progress level two, which you can get by sending level one Humbies to Moose Lab, a treatment chamber level two, and grilled meats. Thank you, Professor Powell. Excellent. So, uh, as you can see... We now have a level one Humby, and these level one Humbies, by the way, uh, can actually do a whole bunch of things. They can actually do a whole bunch of things. Um, we can actually throw in. Oh, we can't. We can't throw in. Um, we can't throw in a, a a Humby to work to work there. But for example, we can throw in a Humby to work at the resource camp, which is great. And then we can get rid of somebody else and throw the next person into. Into here, for example. Uh, what do we got? Just day shift? Sure, just day shift. So it's going to be uh, another person to work there and another person to work at the uh, at the treatment center. Yeah, that seems, to me, that seems absolutely okay. So let's see if we can try and collect some more, some more of these, these ice cubes and get more, get more stuff moving. Come on. There we go. We got our ice. Brilliant. We've got more zombies coming tonight. How many zombies do we have coming tonight? I have absolutely no idea. Um, weak attack for regular attack 10. Okay, that's fine. We'll prioritize this one for treatment next because it is slightly more thawed out, I think. Actually, are they both about the same? They're both about the same. Okay, either way, having three people working at this uh, treatment center now means that we're able to collect the, the wood and the, the glow berries much more quickly than we might otherwise anticipate. Uh, I'm also going to get a, another globery. I say another globery. A first globery. There we go. A first globery planter. There we go. Brilliant. I think we'll make it in time. I think we'll make it in time. I hope we'll make it in time anyway. There we go. Brilliant. And, of course, we've got another Humby to, to use if we want. Uh, I mean, why don't we equip our Humby over... Oh, well, look, literally our Humbies uh, equipped to the Globery Planter. Very, very cool indeed. So, uh, yeah, the, the thing is, is that Humbies are slightly quicker to, to anger, which we need to bear in mind. Uh, so we need to be very, very careful about how we, about how we treat them. Right, so as long as we're able to get uh, Andy Visa moved into the chamber before he unfreezes, then we should be fine. Right, so the snowball shooter, we've got plenty of plenty of ice packs, but we're gonna need to get more. Uh, we're gonna need to get more very, very shortly. Either way, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good record as far as I'm concerned. Let's get let's get another snowball shooter in anticipation for tonight. Can I move this maybe? Yeah, move it over there, and then we'll get ourselves another snowball shooter over here. Just don't want to block. I just don't want to block things just in case. Uh, what do we need for a snowball shooter? 15 steel. Right. Well, that might be a little bit harder to come by. It might be a little bit harder to come by. What do we got? A rune cabin over there. Got a billboard over there. It's not very much. Not very much opportunity for steel. 
Uh, tell you what, let's get rid of you and we'll put you in there. That'll give us... Give us the opportunity to grow veggies more consistently, which is great. Uh, do we need anything else? Not really. We're going to need more resource camps, and I kind of want to set up dilapidated radio tower. Let's build a... How much wood do we have? 200 and something wood? I mean, we could always build... Could always try and build out over here. Alternatively, we could just, like... There's nothing stopping us from doing, like, a resource camp in this vicinity. A lot of resources in range. Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's do... Let's do some, uh... Let's do something like that. I don't like it because it is it's gonna take a long time to get over there. And it's obviously like out with the the secure area. But I think maybe we try and like bring it into the secure area kind of quickly. Like upon reflection. Yeah, try and do something like that. Ugh. Blast. Uh, try and do something like that video game. Like a little, uh, like a little pathway sort of up and around here. Right, progress has been saved. Let's get, get that built. Or at least we'll, we'll order that being built. And then let's get everybody, let's get everybody back, uh, back and locked down. That's fine. That's totally fine. Right. That's looking, that's looking great. That's looking great. So, Snowball Shooter needs 15 steel, which is still uh, difficult. It's still a difficult ask. But everybody's, everybody's in. Uh, we've got 60, 60 things to go. That's great. Okay, at least we've got a, we've got a, a, a route map here. we got a route map. And we'll get a new, another gate over here. Right, weak attack of four zombies. Excellent. Delighted. Delighted. Let's let's go. Okay, so I think we're gonna manage to capture all these four zombies, if I'm not mistaken. These gates, by the way, can all be repaired if we need to. Uh, they don't need to be yet, but that's fine. Uh, the good news about this resource camp over here is that once we've captured all of these, you know, various things, it gives us a nice little, nice little route over to this area and also to these ore deposits and rocks, which are gonna be which are going to be great. You can already start to see that we've got, I guess, the 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 the, uh, the basis of what is, you know, a, a pretty substantial complex right here, uh, which we can link together with corridors and stuff. But again, we don't need to really worry about that uh, too much at the moment. I think what we're going to do is we're also going to start sending some of our Humbies back to the depot, for want of a better phrase. These glowberry planters are looking marvelous, if I do indeed say so myself. We've got plenty of vegetables coming through here, which is great. Uh, we've also got some meat. Now, the meat uh, gets stuck on this pallet here and is reconstituted by using the glowberries, which are just magic as far as I'm concerned, and uh, the vegetables, which is good. And that is what the, the humbies eat. Okay. This is, a, this, is a good e this is a good evening for us. This is a very, very good evening for us. Let's also have a little look at the research uh, tech tree. We'll get all the stuff that we can. Calming station, mesmerizing power of rotating disc. Uh, slowly calm so your angry, frozen uh, humans, uh, humbies even. Uh, equips a human or a level 3 humby with a slow, a snow slinger when hostile zombies or humbies are sighted. Let's get that too. And we'll also get a snow cannon as well. What about layouting? Nope. Nope. Uh, we'll get a bench press too, sure. Anything else here? No, nothing there. We'll get a bellow breezer and we'll get a furnace. Science-wise, we don't have anything yet. Uh, Power-wise, let's do wind turbine. Just the wind turbine, because that's the only thing that we can we can afford to get. Right, next night we're going to get 13 regular zombies. That's unfortunate that you didn't get stopped, because that's going to mean only three. But that's fine. Right, let's unlock and let's get to it. Let's salvage... 
this little bit of fence. In fact, we can actually salvage this entire section of fence. There we go. And we'll get some uh, we'll get some zombies coming through here. Brilliant. So, who do we have that's free? You're you're free in the night shift, and you're free in the night shift as well. Well, once we get this secondary snowball shooter up and running, that'll be great. Let's equip a second a second uh, Humby over here. Good stuff. And then I think maybe we'll send... We'll try and send two Humbies back to the... Back to the lab. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bench pressing. Or leg pressing, dude. This is incredible. Incredible stuff. Right, the billboard is going to get... Going to get decimated, which is great. We're going to get wood from here. We're going to get more metal from there. Great. Did that allow us to get the snowball shooter up and running? It does, which is wonderful. Um, we need more resources for uh, all of them, actually. What have we got? What have we got in in the resource camp, uh, or in the resource camp that we haven't collected yet? About two hundred and fifty wood, not very much. So we're probably going to get rid of that pretty soon, and I guess we'll just start using this this one and only uh, resource camp up here. Yep, that'll be that'll be fine. We got until the end of the day to do it. We got the end until the end of the day to do a lot of building. Actually, now that I think about it, there's quite a lot of building to be done. But that's okay. We'll we'll get uh, another Humby over there. Brilliant. That's fine, and that one's not even close to being unfrozen yet. Brilliant. Okay, I mean everything is looking everything is looking very 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 good. Everything is looking well operated, well appointed. Yeah, pretty happy with it to be honest. Resource camp is looking great. Happy days. And we will get a, another Humby, another level 1 Humby to work at this resource camp once we have created him. Beautiful. Okay, so we got 7 Humvees now. Man, what a great what a great addition to the workforce, eh? Like truly, truly a great addition to the workforce. Okay, can we build this snowball shooter? Is this is this a high priority? It's not a super high priority. It can actually be done in the evening. Uh, let's set the priority of all of these fences slightly higher. Yeah, I think it I think it does kind of warrant it. I think it does kind of warrant it. Because I would not like to be caught with my pants down, uh, you know, at the end of the day. But I am beginning to think that that is almost what we are going to end up seeing. Right. Get that out there. Let's get two more people onto the hauling post. Beautiful. Uh, do I need to get... Actually, tell you what. Don't, don't assign him to the hauling post. Same to here. There we go. On to building duties. Oh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I don't... Mm, not certain of this. Not certain of this at all. Get more. Get more workers here. Get them get him in here. Oh, my lordy. This is not going to be good, is it? Oh, this is not going to be good. Okay, um, what we need to do... We need to rebuild that in there. We need to... Cancel... Cancel the salvation of, of that. No. How do I... How do I... Un how do I... Yeah, control that. Okay. This needs to go on the highest priority. And then this needs to go back on default priority. Right. It's just that simple. We, we have to abandon. We have to abandon the idea of this expansion being finished today. It's not going to be finished today. 
Come on, get these get these fences done. Highest priority. There we go. Right, is this area now safe? This area is now safe. Good, 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 good. Okay, so let's bump this priority. Uh, let's bump that priority up to, to high priority. I know the journey that some of these some of these chumps are going to go on is a little bit longer, but that's fine. Uh, we're okay with that. Let's get the snowball shooter finished. Uh, we've got forty eight ice packs. That is not a lot. That is not a lot, but it's not uh, but it's not necessarily problematic. Okay, let's get it built. Get it built. Right, we're good. We're good. We're back. We're back again. I would put a gate in here, by the way, but I uh, I really don't want to. Let's get everybody get everybody back into the into the safe zone. Right, we got nobody working at this resource camp, which is fine. We've got no power over here. Let's sort that out. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, there's nothing there's nothing within collection range, but that's that's fine too. Okay, everybody is back in. What do we what do we have? We've got four workers that are available during the during the night. Uh, yeah, that's probably probably people that we need to we need to reassign. Let's get uh, yeah, get rid of two of the, two of the people there. It's gonna reassign one person over there. We got thirteen regular zombies. Okay, I think we are ready to. I think we're ready to face the face the enemy. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that, let's get some uh, Bellow Breezers up and running. And we will get this on... Uh, you know, we can do day and night operation. Can probably... It probably better served if it's a... If it's a Humby. Okay, we're gonna see some attacks on, on this area. I mean, if, if anything happens over here, it's not the end of the world. As long as they don't get into the base, we'll be fine. Right, so now we're basically going to be able to adopt, and adopt is a very strong word. Uh, we're going to be able to adopt zombies at twice the rate, and it looks like the gate is still going to be the the target, which is good. We're going to be able to repair the gate, which is nice, which is brilliant. Okay, uh, the Bellow Breezer is going to inefficiently, uh, but it's it's going to inefficiently manufacture uh, these these ice packs, but at least we're going to be able to get them, which is great. Okay, good. Look at this. We're freezing at double the pace now, which is marvelous. And even it, it doesn't even look like this area is particularly, particularly under threat. Okay, did I get? Yeah, I've got. I've still got. Uh, still got the, the gardeners working away here, which is grand. Okay, what do we got? We got three level one humbies, which are looking for a job. Unequip that there, and in fact, we'll just delete. Set it up to be deleted, but we'll do it tomorrow, of course. Okay, we're in for a bumper. We're in for a bumper hole, which is very, very nice. Uh, this resource camp can be. Does it need to be demolished? I guess it probably could be demolished. We need to find a way of generating more wood, and that is to say, we need to get ourselves. We need to get ourselves to a forest somewhere. I think it's this forest up here. Yeah. It's just going to take ages to manufacture uh, a defense all the way up to the top there. Yeah, probably not going to have much of an opportunity to fix that. Uh, we need more bags over here, please. More ice packs. Let's move them out. I tell you what, get one person working over here. Right. Okay, 18 regular zombies, that's fine. So, I think we've got a real opportunity here. So, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think we should maybe get rid of a few zombies right now. Let's see if we can try and make some trades. So, we go to Moose Lab. We've got 7 Humbies at the moment. We need to basically send 10 Humbies across to... Send... Let's send five. We'll send 50% of the cure progress. And what do we want to get? What do we want to get? We can we can get a few a few bits and bobs back. We'll get wood. We'll get I don't know, like fertilizer. No, it doesn't really seem worth it. Maybe maybe more ice packs and more wood. Is that really it? I think that's it, to be honest. Uh so I don't 
particularly think and so the only thing that's gonna the only thing that's gonna change is the delivery time but I mean honestly I'm kind of happy to to deal with that like that'll be fine you can see that we've got a a delivery in a couple of hours and um, and we will have the humbies ready to go like pretty shortly okay Do that there. Delete and delete. God, is this the best forest that we can get access to? I really don't want to... I don't want to start, like, developing that. That seems... It seems dangerous. Right, when's the helicopter arriving? Helicopter arrives at your lab 10.09. So that's three hours away. Which is... Very, very doable. There must be, there must be, it must be in like production. Resource camp two, chemical production, fertilizer production, wood production. See, that's what we need, right? Waters, fertilizers, and chopped trees. That's it. That's what we need to get. What do we need for a tier two basic lab? 3,000 wood. 3,000 wood. Wow. Wow. That is, that is, that is a lot. Uh, we also need to get, we also need to get a, what's it, a, a wind turbine thing. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that up and running right now. Five workers are leaving. Yep, that's exactly what we anticipated. That's fine. Look at that. Get them loaded into the, there we go. Get them loaded into the crate. And away we go. And so when the helicopter arrives at the headquarters, will be 2.30. We will get an update. We'll get an update then. Okay, we're still waiting for a level one Humby to be to be prepared, but we should be able to do that, uh, well, shortly, I suppose. There we go. Okay, this is looking good. This is all looking good. That wind turbine is going to really, really help things out. It means that we're going to have a nice big battery. Ready to go. Let's get rid of you there, and we'll salvage that entire operation. Uh, we'll maybe get rid of a few builders. I don't think that we particularly need them yet. Uh, snowball shooters, we are ready to go. I can assign a second worker to work at the, the bellow breezers. Or I could just build more bellow breezers, but I don't think I really need it. Do I have anything else that I need? Uh, Globry plant, bellow breezer, a furnace... I don't think we have any. We don't have any ore. We don't have any ore. We, do, we don't need anything at the moment. I could do with another treatment center. I could do with another treatment center. We could do with expanding our current science room. I might try and do that. I need to get a... What is it? I need to get a resource camp. Yeah. Get a resource camp over there. Yeah, I can tell that I don't really like this design. Not 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 at all, actually. Right. Helicopter arrived at the Moose Lab. You gained 50 cure progress, which is marvelous. Uh research. Have we capped our research actually? Is there a maximum that we can that we can get, or is it just yeah, no, isn't there's not a maximum of 350. It just looks uh it just looks pretty pretty uniform. Okay. Let's get three of those if we can, or you know, a third person there. What do we got? We got one day and night shift worker that is that is available. Okay, are we fine for food? We're fine for food and veg. Uh oh. This might end up being a problem here. I don't think this zombie is going to attack me, but... No, it's just going to depart. Okay, thankfully, the freezing progress freezes. Literally. Uh, whilst we are... A humby became angry. Ah, well that's that's uh, that's to be anticipated, right? And that's because you haven't had any food, 
Right, so before we before we rectify that, um, defenses, we've got a snow cannon, which I haven't yet built, actually. The guard armory I will build uh, over here. We'll also build a calming station. Build that over there. But more importantly, I need to build another... Where is it? Production. Yeah, veggie planter. Maybe doesn't seem very important, but it is very important because that veggie planter is what is allowing us to get uh, to get the meat to get the meat built. Let's prioritize that the highest, and prioritize that similarly similarly highly. Destroying the bellow breezer is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. The humby becoming angry is is fine. Right? How's this area looking? It's not looking great. It's not looking great. Security breach ended. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Poor guy became became angry at doing his job. That's uh, you know what? It's it's fine. Beautiful. We managed to get ourselves another operator to get more vegetables, which is fantastic. Right. So we got a guard, which is lovely. Uh, the guard is going to stop uh, the hum the humbies becoming angry and take him to the calming station if they need to be taken there, which is fine. Right. Okay. So, you know what I want to do? I would like to get... This over here. I feel like this entire operation was just a massive wash. Um, there's no reason not to just get, like... Ooh. Get everybody inside, please. Um, there's no reason to expand into this area, like, quite yet. We can We can still take it easy. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Right. Just in the nick of time as well. Goodness gracious me. Just in the nick of time. Okay, what do we got? 18 zombies. Yeah, so by the end of the night tonight, it would be good if I at least had a roadmap on how I want to improve my defenses. I mean, one of the things that I can do is I can get a snow cannon. Let's do that. Sure. Let's get a snow cannon over there. Get some ice packs as well, because we've got plenty of ice packs. That gate is going, is going down. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're freezing them all. We are freezing them all. Oh, this is legitimately fantastic. They're all so lethargic. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, we're gonna get so many. We're gonna get so many. Um, what we need to do is we need to get a we need to get a route for um, for treating for treating more and more and more humbies. Uh, or treating more zombies into Humbies, like, really, really quickly. Can I build a science room anywhere? I can't really. Like, I can expand this science room, maybe? But we're gonna need to delete the hauling post. Or at least we're gonna need to move the hauling post to, like... Yeah, there is actually totally fine. Right, so we'll do that whilst we're waiting. We'll get a science room expansion... Over here, uh, all walls must be next to the room's floor. Sure, we don't have 85 wood, really? It's a bit of a surprise, but it's okay. Let's move some of these research desks. To make way for the new bit of machinery, which is going to go over here. Yeah, not having any resources for that is a it's a big kicker. How much did the snow cannon cost to build? Quite a lot, I'd wager. Oh my god, get the gate repaired. Oh my god, we don't have the resources to repair the gate. Uh Right, shrink this room.
Yeah, shrink that room. Gate repair is the highest priority. Gate repair is the highest priority. Can we repair the gate, please? God, we're gonna see a breach. There's a breach! Guard, get in here. Okay, we don't have a safe area. Wait, we do have safe areas, but we don't have... We don't have very safe areas. We do have a guard who is busy guarding. Uh, we might take some damage, but I actually don't think it's going to be the end of the world. There we go. Look at this. Kathy. Kathy going to absolute town. Actually going to clean up and get additional zombies. Holy cow. Okay. Um, so that was a... That was not the end of the world, right? That was not the end of the world. Let's unlock down ourselves. Right. Let's get... Uh, first of all, hold on. Cancel... Cancel, uh, cancel this. Cancel this. Yep, cancel that. Beautiful. Cancel that. Just stop building. Stop building more stuff. Let's get... Get more people working over here. That's good. Zombies are drifting away. That's fine. That is fine. We'll get that repaired. We'll get this area repaired as well. Salvage all of this. Good. This is the problem with just not having not having wood. Uh, we have got like a chronic shortage of wood. We're gonna send. Oh, a humby became angry. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Just get him placated and moved across to yeah, moved across to the calming station if at all possible. Beautiful. And you just get hypnotized for a little bit. That's fine. As things go, that's that's not the end of the world. Right, okay, so 80 woods, uh, 80 bits of wood. Let's let's uh let's prioritize this now is the highest. There we go. Let's get that all done. And then we will tear down tear down this wall over here, but we'll do that only after we finish the rest of it. Okay. Right, the resource camp is going strong, which is marvelous. It's taking a while to get to get built, but that's fine. Right, can I? I tell you what I can do. Um, I can trade. I can trade some some more. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get our cure. I'll trade for a hundred percent wood, and then maybe some more meat. Sure, let's do that. Send helicopter. Let's do it. So what time is it going to arrive? Two o'clock. Okay. I'm okay with that. Might be a bit late for us in the day, but we'll we'll do our best. We'll do our best. Right. Then we will get a treatment chamber. Try and find a place for one. Maybe we just ditch this. Just salvage this research desk for now. We might have space for it later, but for now, let's just not worry about it. How much wood is it? It's up to 40 wood an hour, so it's like not an insignificant amount of wood that we're having to we're having to deal with here. Right. One more wall. Literally one more wall. Okay, gate, let's put that above high above high priority, I guess. We'll leave that leave that there for now. Right. All of this stuff has been taken down. I don't actually know if we get wood back um, from from what we're doing there, but I guess we I guess we do. Also, this wood like needs to be collected and moved and moved back somehow. I don't know how best we are to, to do that. Right. So these walls need to be taken down now. So we go delete. Can I delete these walls, please? Video game. Right. Merge rooms. Yeah, that's that's the one. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Right. So delete all these walls. And then we'll get our big our big new our big new bit of kit in here. Treatment chamber. Yeah, that's gonna squeeze in there just nicely. 
Perfect. Right. Priority top. Priority top. We need 25 steel. Are you kidding me? Right. We should get more than enough wood from this container. Do we have steel in this area? No, but we do have the opportunity to build a furnace. Right, skill training room is ready. That's great. It's not like it particularly matters, but that's okay. Right, 300 woods. 300 wood we've got. And how much steel do we have? How much steel do we need? 25. Mm, okay, we're going to see some of these get lost, unfortunately. Okay, you know what I think we need? I think we need hauling. I think we need a hauling capability. Because I think our, our current hauling post just can't manage to to that extent. Uh, let's also maybe see if we can get a... Resource camp over there. Yeah. Let's do that. Get a get a holding camp like over here. Should we try that? We'll give that a punt. I really want to get a gate over here or some sort of way to spread the load a little bit, but right, we gained cure progress. Brilliant. Let's go and have a little look at what's going on in the in the lab. Uh, I think that cure progress should actually allow us to. Uh, I need to go back. No, not to there. Uh, it should allow us, no, that's not the one that I'm looking for. Get rid of the world map. Uh, research, yeah, science. We've got ourselves, we've got ourselves the cure. Right, finish, uh, finish your level two treatment. We need 3,000 wood. I mean, how on earth are we going to get 3,000 wood? Like, that's, that's a heckin, that's a heckin' lot of wood. That is a heckin' lot of wood. Helicopter successfully returned to base. Uh, why are we not moving? What's... Helicopter returned to your headquarters? Yeah, what's the issue here? Why are we not moving? Video game? Uh... Yeah, I know we finished. I know we finished, but I, uh, I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> okay, we have paused. The game is in. The game is in, uh, is, is in permanent pause. I have absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea what, uh, what that could possibly mean. What on, what on earth? What on earth? What the heck? What the heck was that? That was very, 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 very strange. I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, we are going to have to wrap up here, but I did want to kind of, you know, wrap up whilst the game was sort of playing in the background. Perhaps some zombies were overrunning our defenses. Although that being said, I think we're actually, I think we're actually good for for snow bags and ice cubes and whatnot. I think we're, I think we're good. Um, but I guess we'll see. What we, obviously once we, once we load back in. Oh, there we go. Good. We're we're able to play. We're able to play again. That's that's marvelous. Um, yeah, that's good. Resource camp. Let's see. We've got two people that are available in the day shift only. To be fair, we could literally just assign we could assign this to a to a day shift sort of role. Uh, that's for selection. Yeah. Not enough workers. No, I appreciate that. Can I say, by the way? Literally just get literally just get steel. Just get steel and and we'll be good. Literally, just get steel and we'll be good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that was our that was basically the entirety of level one. Uh, moving on up for level two, it's a case of like just scaling everything up as much as we possibly can. We're gonna be under uh, undergoing a uh, a regular a regular attack over the course of this evening. We, we don't have any. Um, snow bags, but I know for a fact that we did just get ourselves a few a few ice bags, which is kind of nice. Uh, the, the, the hurdle is high. To get a tier 2 basic lab, uh, we would need 3,000 wood. I mean, that is a... 
that is a that is an absolutely that is an absolutely huge 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 number uh we would need to chop down a lot of trees it's not a lot to be fair like it's uh it's actually it's actually very very doable as long as we have a big a big load of uh a big load of trees uh but we don't really have a big load of trees at the moment how's the snow how's the snow cam and uh, how's the snow cam looking it's not looking too bad. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what more sort of base defense elements are actually in the game. I'm not quite sure what other what other cannons and other defensive structures. Whoa! Why would you? Why would you leave? It's a it's an illegal an illegal thing to do. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Did somebody escape? Somebody might have escaped. Uh, yeah. So we've got a single we've got a single gate here. It's a little bit of a a little bit of a flashpoint. Obviously, all the zombies are still targeting it. It's to be anticipated, though, isn't it? Uh, look, on the whole, I'm I'm really reasonably happy with um with how things are looking here. That treatment chamber, the ability to get a second treatment chamber, is hugely important. I think, really, really, is very, very important. Can we build a furnace over the course of the evening? Because uh, we do have nine bits of ore, just chilling here. And if we can turn some ore into not have enough rock? Oh, we don't have enough rock there. Yeah, if we can turn some, uh... If we can get some more, uh, some more... Some more good stuff, then that would be, then that would be great. And then the resource camps are going to be able to obviously kick back into, kick back into... Kick back into gear in the morning. Either way, very, very cool indeed. Right, uh, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up. Zombie Cure Lab... What a fantastic little builder, and I feel like we've really barely even scratched the surface. I love the mechanics. I love the world map mechanics. I think that's fantastic. I really cannot wait to see uh, what more what more of this game gets as uh, as we progress through the uh, progress through the tech tree, but progress through uh, the early access uh, the early access release. Very, very, very much looking forward to all of the the things that this game is going to bring. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. Uh, check out the game linked uh, down in the description below and uh, also check out the Patreon if indeed you're interested in helping videos like this possible. Uh, make videos like this possible. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.